everybody. Everybody recognized us. They all know who we were. Guess who's your babysitter tonight? Bazooey, Bazooey! <laughs> It's that time of year again. It's October, and you know what that means. Ah, scary movies while having breakfast in bed with my delicious chocolate cereal, Count Chocula. That's right, Halloween, the greatest holiday of all time. The time for pumpkins, and vampires, and witches, and ghosts. But thinking of Halloween started to remind me of Halloween specials. Whatever happened to Halloween specials? All they ever air now is The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. It's really a mystery why the channels decided to bury other animated specials deep within their vault, never to be seen again. And that's why today I'll be looking at the top 10 forgotten animated Halloween specials. The rules of this list are no episodes of shows. It must be a special that stands on its own. Also, it has to have aired originally on TV, so films like Mad Monster Party won't be included. The order of this list will depend on which ones I feel deserve the most attention. Alright, let's start off with an honorable mention. What should I be? There's so many sides to me. I could be an astronaut, a robot, a hobo, a clown, or an alien creature going out on a town. Garfield's Halloween Adventure. It's great. Why is it an honorable mention? Well, I already did a review of this special, so there's really no point in talking about it again. If you want to go check it out, it's on my channel, but let me warn you, it's trash, just like every video on my channel. Number 10. Can we take him home and feed him, Dad? I don't know if we'll even be able to feed ourselves with a plant closing, but I suppose so. Bunicula. I remember watching this on VHS as a kid. It tells the story of a cat and a dog trying to find out whether or not the new pet rabbit is a vampire. First thing I noticed rewatching it is the animation is crap. I guess I just never noticed it as a kid, but now... Yeah. You know, on second thought, you should probably just skip this one. Unless you're below 6, then you may enjoy it. Fortunately, a new Banicula series is said to be airing on Boomerang later this year, with Billy and Mandy creator Maxwell Adams involved in it. So, if there's anyone in the world that actually watches Boomerang, be sure to check it out once it's released. Number 9. Now, Freddy. It's Teddy. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, just remember now, bears are afraid of nothing. You want to know what's a great cartoon starring bears? We Bear Bears. It's one of Cartoon Network's best. Oh, yeah, and then there's the Great Bear Scare, too, I guess. Um, that's okay, too. This Halloween special stars Ted E. Bear. Get it? Get it? He lives in a world of furries who live in fear of monsters, so they send him up to the castle where they plan to conquer the world. The first thing you'll probably notice is the limited animation, but unlike Banicula, I kind of like it. It gives the cartoon its own style that makes it different from anything else. The story itself was... One thing that bothered me about this special was the amount of bear puns. Ted E. Bear, the only bear who might be able to save the world, is climbing aboard our barony airship now. They were unbearable. Number eight. Oh, it's really you. What have you been doing? Traveling around, writing songs. How about you? I sold my soul to the devil. Yeah? What? Ah, uh, yes. We've all had that moment. The moment that we sold our soul and became empty shells. For me, it was when making this video. The Devil and Daniel Mouse, based on the book The Devil and Daniel Webster, tells the story of a mouse who sells her soul to the devil to become a rock star. But when her time is almost up, she turns to Daniel Mouse in hopes of him helping her get her soul back. What this has to do with Halloween? Well, the devil's in it, so I guess that counts. Speaking of which, the devil is probably the best part of the special, and the animation used on him and the other characters are all very smooth. Where's the ink? 
<laughs> we always use blood. It's more permanent. This is also a musical with some surprisingly well-written songs that help make this special even more memorable. Look where the music can take you when you're getting low. Look where the music can take you if you let it go. It's sad that such a decent special was lost in time, but I'm hoping it never completely dies like my future. Number seven. There's something about Canterville Chase I've not told you. Oh, don't worry. A couple of nails and those loose floorboards and the... You no, know, no, I'm referring to the ghost. The ghost? <laughs> The Canterville Ghost is a more watered-down version of the original book by Oscar Wilde, which I didn't read because books suck. Who's with me? Am I right? It's about a family moving to a mansion, being haunted by a ghost, but the ghost can't scare the family, and the daughter wants to help him move on to the afterlife. It has some pretty heartfelt moments, and the animation used is very unique and interesting. It's nothing spectacular, but definitely worth at least one watch. Number 6 there's no soul in me, oh can't you see that I'm not sleepy? Let's talk about Chuck Jones, a famous animator, cartoonist, and director who had involvement in many classic Looney Tunes shorts. He also directed, produced, and wrote this short, The Pumpkin Who Couldn't Smile. This short stars the two walking, talking dolls, Raggedy Ann and Andy. How they came to be alive? I think we all know the answer to that question. So anyway, there was a pumpkin that was carved with a glum expression and the dolls have to show him that he's wanted. The special has a certain surreal feel to it that really reminds me of the feeling of Halloween. It's a really calming short with good animation, one or two good jokes, and something I definitely recommend watching on Halloween. A very merry hello and a happy new week. Number five. It's a wonderful night for Grinch night. Their troubles will now commence. Oh, I wouldn't stay home on a night like this for $60.60. We all remember Dr. Seuss, right? The guy who wrote the classic one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, sick fish, gloom fish, dead fish, doom fish. Oh, and he also wrote some book about, um, a Grinch who stole Christmas? Hmm. Speaking of which, the Grinch stars in this Halloween special. Halloween is Grinch night, in which once a year all the Who's hide from the Grinch in fear. One may question why the Grinch is no longer nice like he was at the end of the Christmas special, but let's face it, the Dr. Seuss continuity is screwed up. I found myself really enjoying this special for two reasons, the fall colors and the music. The score of this special sounds like something from Danny Elfman, and the scene in which monsters sing a song called Grinch is gonna get ya is very memorable. Now all we need is a live action adaptation starring Jim Carrey. choices on this list. It really is like nothing I've ever seen before with its interesting style and feel. The story tells of two kids who wish to be turned into monsters to scare people, so a witch turns them and their uncle Bazooey, Bazooey, Bazooey! into monsters when everything goes horribly wrong. Destroy the monsters and run! 
I had a fun time watching this, but now I cannot get that stupid song out of my head. Number three. I think it's about time we brought out my lovely assistant. What do you say, huh? <laughs> yeah! He's preparing himself. You know, meditate. Will Vinton. Who is he? Will Vinton is a fairly famous claymation director who made a few films and owns the company responsible for food mascots such as the California Raisins and the Noid, that of which we avoid. It takes fresh baked quality to avoid the Noid. He also made the Halloween special Will Vinton's Claymation Comedy of Horrors. This is probably the most unique special on the list. It tells the story of a greedy pig who drags his cowardly friend Snail to Frankenswine's castle in order to find Frankenswine's monster and win free stuff. Some people may turn away from this style of animation, but I love every bit of it. The lip movements are perfectly synced and the animators really take advantage of the fact that it's made of clay. It's a fun and funny special that I think many people would really enjoy. <laughs> Did you try to choke? Number two. Of all my favorite holidays, Halloween isn't. Now we're talking. So if you know me, I have the utmost respect for Winnie the Pooh. It's one of this world's finest accomplishments. So it's no wonder I would put Winnie the Pooh, Boo to You 2 on this list. I used to watch this special all the time as a kid. It's a special full of Halloween spirit. Basically, Piglet is scared of Halloween and must face his fears, and that's basically it. The special also has some great songs, my personal favorite being the ones sung by Tigger. I wanna tear myself and everyone else. The thrilling and chilly old willies will ride. Cover your right, little buddy, beware. I'm twitching and itching to scare myself. Something interesting about this special is that there was also a film released in 2005 called Pooh's Hep Love Halloween that was basically just a recap of this special. The only complaint I do have about this special is throughout it they talk about trick-or-treating, but who's gonna give them candy? Last I checked, there weren't that many creatures living in the Hundred Acre Woods. Oh well, it's still a fun special that deserves to be seen by everyone, especially those who love Winnie the Pooh. Number one. Remember Warner Brothers in the 90s? It brought us some of the greatest cartoons of all times, such as Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, and Tiny Toons. Tiny Toons Night Goolery is a Tiny Toons special that didn't air until after the show had ended. The special is full of references and inside jokes and parodies several horror shows and movies, such as Frankenstein, The Twilight Zone, An American Werewolf in London, Night of the Living Dead, and many more. Like any Tiny Toons episode, the special is hilarious and is able to fit in a lot of jokes you may miss watching the first time. This is definitely the special I like the most and think it's the most enjoyable watch for a Halloween night. So that's it. That's my list. Now leave. Go away. Get out of my swamp. Guys, leave.